All right, so now we're moving on to um, 10.5, area and non-rigid transformations. It's work you've done before, so there's no new vocabulary. Okay, now again, make sure that you read what it's asking you for, which in this case, um, you need to find the scale factor. So bearing in mind that you always put um, whichever way that they the question is asking you. But here is a basic formula that you've got, which is the area of um, the bigger one over the area of the smaller one. That will give you the scale factor and eventually you're going to have to square root in order to find the scale factor or cancel down to find the scale factor. OK, so what have we got here? So we first and foremost, in example one, you've got to work out what is the scale factor between these two diagrams. OK, well, it's um, it's the bigger one over the smaller one, because that's the way that the question is asking it for you. Don't forget that whatever comes first goes at the top. Whatever is at the bottom is whatever comes second. OK, and your scale factor is five over four. OK, now, you know, when you're going to find the area, you've got to square it. So keep it as that format at the moment. OK. Now, what have you been told? In one of the in part of the statement, you're, you've been told that the smaller one is 30 inches. So again, you're going to put ratio and proportion together, which is back to chapters um, in 7.2. So you put your ratio and proportion together. OK, you don't know what the area of, uh, of the bigger one is, but you know that the uh, area of the bottom one is. You know what the scale factor is. Cross multiply and solve and you finish up with your answer. All right, so following what they've done in example one, um, because we've got no letters on our different shape, I'm just going to put B for blue and G for green. You don't have to, but I just make it simple. First thing we need to do is find the scale factor. So don't forget the scale factor is B over G, and we need to square both of those eventually. So it's going to be 8 over 4 and square root it. All right. And Square it, not square root it, I should apologise. And now we're doing our ratio and proportion. We know the area of the blue one is 36. So it's going to be 36 over G for green is equal to 64 over 16. That's 8 squared is 64, 4 squared is 16. Cross multiply, so 64G is equal to... Um, 16 times 36, which is 576, and so G is equal to 576 divided by 64, which will give you 9. All right, and in example 2, what we're doing is now we're working backwards. This time it's told you the area. Um, the bigger one, the green one, is 150, and the smaller one, the blue one, is, is 54. OK, so the first thing you need to do is work out what the scale factor of it is between the two of them. So it's the blue one is because that was the first one. So the, the according to the diagram, so smaller over the bigger one. Um, and so 54 over 50, that will simplify down to 9 over 25. And then you've got to square root that. And so you will finish up with the scale factor of three fifths. In other words, the blue one is three fifths of the green one. So now we use that again in ratio and proportion. So we're putting them in the same pattern again. So this time we've got X over 10 because we've got to find the smaller one, J8. So X over 10 equals three over five, cross multiply again, you finish up with an answer of six. Okay, so let's have a look at example two in question number three. Um, again, we've been given the area, but we need to find the, the height of question three, the blue one. So again, um, we need to make a fraction because we need to do the scale factor. So 875 over 315. And if you simplify that one before you start, you get 25 over 9. OK, and that's going to equal whatever K squared is. So we're going to square root that. So K is going to equal... 5 over 3. So that's the scale factor. So the bigger one is 5 thirds of the smaller one. OK, so now we're going to use the ratio and proportion method again. So we've got x over 21 is equal to 5 over 3. Cross multiply, you get 3x equals 105. And if you divide through by 3, 
x in this case is 35 centimeters. All right, so now what we're doing in example three is we are changing the dimensions. Um, we've got two gardens here, Orlando's and Mia's. Both of them at the moment are 15 by 12. Um, Orlando wants to increase the, his or hers to um, 18 by 22.5 and Mia wants to increase hers to 18 by 18.75 okay so what you've got to do first and foremost is work out whether or not it's in proportion because are they similar or are they not well if you put the um, the ratio of the original which is 18 over 12 that will come down to 3 over 2 and then the larger one that she wants also comes down to 3 over 2 so that one's in ratio and proportion that one's good to go Mia's as you notice here with her two fractions if you do the same thing is different okay so um, you can't really do Mia's in the same way as you can do Orlando's Orlando's is similar to so you can do ratio and proportion Mia's you cannot you've got to do a little bit of extra work and as you can see from what we've got here in the diagram um, you have to do a little bit of extra work. But let's have a look at question five. Um, so what we've got here, it says Zola has a picture frame that holds all her school photographs. Each small opening is similar to the large one. If the center opening has an area of 33 inches, what is the area of the small openings? Okay, it doesn't matter how many pictures there are. We're only interested in the two pictures in ratio and proportion. Um, the center has been given you as the area of 33. So now we're actually going back to what we did right at the beginning. So purely and simply, the first thing we need to do is find out what the, the uh, scale factor is. So you're going to do 3 over your 1.2. And if you put that into your calculator using the fraction button, um, that will simplify down to 5 over 2. Okay, so 0 0.6 will go into both of them. That will give you 5, 5 over 2, but you've got to square it. So eventually you're going to go to 25 over 4. Okay, and you're going to multiply that by the area of the original, which is 33, and put that over x. Cross multiply, so 25x is going, x is going to equal 132. And if you divide through by 25, hex is 5.28 um, and it's square inches, so inches squared. OK, so when you get questions like this, first and foremost, work out whether or not it has a similar proportion. If it has, you can use ratio and proportion. If it hasn't, we will have to do something else a little bit later on.